because I sent it back to you via email. Okay? So I don't know if you printed it out or if you have your hard copy, um, but if you have your hard copy that you scanned and sent to me, it would be good to look at it. If you don't, just roll with this. All right, Jenny, have you started the recording? All right. Hello, everyone. This is Algebra 1, and we're starting by looking at Quiz 3. Um, it looks like, from my notes, everybody in this class um, got the first one correct. Okay? Did a really good job on that one. And it should be, what is a number's distance from the origin on the number line? What would you call that? Anybody? Say it. Absolute, absolute value. Absolute value. So I'll write that in. Sorry for my messy handwriting on this screen. Okay. Um, let's just, since nobody missed it, let's look at the rework. Two numbers are something of each other if their sum equals zero. Opposites. They are opposites. What's another word for opposites? Very good, Savannah. Additive inverses of each other. It's just another way to say it. All right, now here's one that a lot of people missed, and I see why. Okay, after I graded them, I was like, oh, I see what they're doing. And several people, I think like three or four different people, made the same error. So I definitely want to talk about number two. Okay, but I will say, Autumn, you did a fantastic job with number two, and a couple other people did as well. So, Autumn, can you help me with number two? What would you do first? I did what's inside of the. Very good. So she said she did what's inside. Those absolute values are grouping symbols. Negative 11 plus 2, when the signs are different, Autumn, what do you really do with them? Good. And I'm going to get 9. Is it positive or negative? It's positive. It's right. So I'm going to go ahead and write negative and keep the absolute values for one step just to show that I did get negative 9. And I'm going to bring down the minus 6. But then, like Autumn said, I am taking the absolute value of negative 9, which is just positive 9, minus 6. Now, you know what a lot of people did? I would say about half the class thought to, that they needed to think of that as 9 times negative 6. Okay? But keep in mind that these are like grouping symbols, and you've got a minus in between there. That's, we're thinking about that as a minus. You could have rewritten it as adding the opposite, if you'd like, and it would come out the same. But if they wanted you to multiply it, they would have put that in parentheses to indicate a multiplication. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when you do the last step, you get a 3. Okay? All right. And there were several others who, got, who did that as well. So y'all did a good job on that. Hopefully, if you missed it, you now see why you missed it. I'm going to pause a second. I want you to look. Make sure you're cool with that. Y'all cool with that? Alright, let's look at number three. Will did a really nice job on number three. So, Will, would you tell me how you did that? I multiplied both sides by seven. Alright, good. So, I'm just going to show that I'm multiplying both sides by seven. The sevens are going to cancel, and I end up with x equals whatever seven times 63 is, Four. which is... 41. Very good. 441. Now, it didn't say check. But today's quiz is going to say check. I want everybody to repeat what I'm about to say. You ready? Listen. You're going to say, I will remember to check my solutions. Ready? Go. I will remember to check my solutions. You know, sometimes you remember what you hear, but more often you remember what you say. So hopefully you'll remember what you just said when you go to do your, your quiz. On this quiz, you did not have to check your solution. Okay? All right, let's look at number four, because this one was a little tricky. 4a, I think everybody got that right. Okay, it should have come out to two. So I'm not going to work that one since everybody got it correct. B, you substitute in a negative three, which means you need to put it in parentheses. Negative three plus three over negative three minus one. And I was going to have Seth explain this, but since Seth is not here... Did anybody get this one that wants to explain it? Nobody. Oh, uh, Tiffany. All right, Tiffany. No. no? <laughs> I'll do it. But, okay. Um, Go, Tiffany. I don't know if I got the right answer. I don't remember what you marked. Oh, yeah, because you have it back mm -hmm. on my email. That's okay. Go ahead. Um, Keep going. I, I did negative 3 plus 3, which equals 0. Good. And I did negative 3 minus 1, which is 1. Good. Just negative 3 plus minus 
plus negative 4. I Good. Know, but it equals negative 4, which I did not write, but I got the same answer of 0. Yes, and some people stopped right here. And they said, well, that's the answer. But what is zero divided by negative four? Well, it's what Tiffany zero. said. It's zero. Circling the zero always looks like a donut. It makes me hungry. Okay, <laughs> look at C, okay? Um, so that's what B is. I'm going to scoot it over a little bit, and we'll look at C. Um, somebody who got C, well, I'll just tell you, I'm going to run through this one, because I think y'all got the substituting correct. It was just what to do with it. You should have had 1 plus 3 over 1 minus 1, and when you work that out, you get 4 over 0. What's wrong with that? Undefined. Undefined. Jackson, are you the one who just said that? Yes. How do you remember that the, that's... Thank you. You did listen to me, didn't you? Did y'all listen to me? I hope so. The 0 is under, so it is undefined. Division by 0 is undefined. Okay? You cannot divide by 0. All right, let's look at number five. Actually, I think everybody got number five correct. But I will write the answer up there real quick in case anybody on the video needs it. The answer should have been 128. You would have multiplied both sides by eight thirds, the reciprocal, okay? to get that answer. I want to talk about the extra credit for a minute, and I don't know if y'all remember me saying this or if I forgot to say this. You can't do corrections on extra credit. I mean, you can, but you can't earn extra points during corrections, okay? So, but listen, because this may help you with today's extra credit, okay? Calvin Butterball starts riding to school on his bicycle. Three minutes later, Patty Small starts riding to school. Let X be the number of minutes that Calvin has been riding. So first I would say X equals Calvin's minutes. Okay, I'm just going to abbreviate it. What about Patty? Write an expression for the number of minutes Patty has been riding. Who's been riding longer? Calvin. Calvin has been riding longer. So if I put X plus 3, that's making Patty ride longer. That's not it. It's Calvin's amount of time. Uh-oh, my pen doesn't want to work. Whoops, I locked up. Well, let's try that again. That is, okay, my finger will write, but my pen won't write. All right, so you're talking about messy now. Here you go. You know, I just wrote plus, didn't I? Mm, yeah. Whoops. I'll just write with my finger. X minus 3. Okay? So X minus 3 is the amount of minutes that Patty's been writing because she started three minutes after him. So if he's been going for five minutes, she's only been going for two minutes. Okay? Then B says to write an equation. This one wanted an expression. This one wants an equation stating that Patty has been writing for seven minutes. That would mean Patty's amount of time is equal to seven minutes. If Patty's amount of time is equal for set to seven minutes, we can use that to figure out how long Calvin's been writing, and we can add three to both sides and find out that Calvin has been writing for ten hours, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? Minutes. Minutes. We defined our variable, and we can look back up here to see what unit to use. What about C? How long has Patty been writing when Calvin has been writing for 14 minutes? Well, there's Calvin. Take away 3, and that's what Patty's been writing. So that's 11 minutes. Okay? All right, Tiffany. Um, I have, so, like, what if, so, like, I write my units occasionally. I try very hard. Okay. Like, I write it to the side where I circle it, um, and occasionally you'll like mark on like where I solve it to write my units. Um, what in it? Isn't it like like if I have my units in one place, why does it have to be? It place? needs to be in your circled final answer. Well, that's what it typically. Is. Okay, well, if it is, then good. And if and that brings up a good point. If you put something and I just don't see it, because y'all see these reading glasses, right? Mm -hmm. I have to keep going up on my number. It's sad. Okay, something y'all got to look forward to 25 years from now. Well, 
I keep going, I'm on my number because I can't see. And some of y'all write microscopically with a very light pencil. So if I do make an error, guys, I will fix it. All you got to do is give it back to me and say, hey, Miss Hill, you asked for units, but they're, oh, okay, I'm sorry. But just make sure you circle the final answer because that gives me an idea. Some of y'all, I couldn't read some things on your scan, and I contacted you. I said, hey, I can't read this little part right here. So try to make sure when you send your scans that you proof it. We're all going to mess up, though. You're going to miss things. That's okay. Just, just contact me back. Say, yes, Miss Hill, that's there. The other thing while we're talking about making errors, how many of y'all have a banking account? Anybody? If you put money in, do you check to make sure they put it in your account? Yes. Y'all do that? Okay. That's an important thing to do. So when you turn corrections in or turn some sort of assignment in, you need to check where to make sure you got credit. Mm -hmm. Great link. Okay? That's like your bank account for your grades. So please keep checking it, and I am not offended in the least if you email me and say, hey, I think I turned corrections in for that. Can you check? Or I may say, well, I haven't finished grading them yet. Okay? Or, or whatever. Oh, or maybe I forgot to put it in. My internet at my house is so horrible that it took me several tries yesterday to update things on GradeLink because GradeLink kept kicking me off because my internet was spotty. So if I miss something, just contact me. Okay? Yes, ma'am. We know all too well about your internet, Jonathan. Yes, because Jonathan has, <laughs> suffers from the same thing, right? All right, so this is quiz three. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. And let y'all take your quiz. Jamie, if you would push uh, stop on that.